Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. Today in this video, we are going to integrate two software applications, WooCommerce and Autopilot. So the use case here is, whenever there is a new order in WooCommerce, we want to create contact in Autopilot automatically. First, let us know what these two software applications are all about. So WooCommerce is a software application where you can set up your online store, whereas Autopilot is a marketing automation software. So the issue here is that WooCommerce and Autopilot don't have any integration between them. And that is why we are going to use Pabli Connect, a third party application software to integrate both these software applications. The best part here is you don't require any knowledge of coding. So let me show you this on my screen. Okay, so here I am at Google and now I will go to this URL section over here and I'm going to type pabli.com. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli and now I will hover over this product section over here and I'm going to select connect over here. Okay, so now we are going to sign in. So I'll click on the sign in option from here. Okay, so now because I have already signed into my account, that is why I am here. You can also sign up for free and create your free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing. You can try out this integration in Pabli Connect absolutely free. So if you want, you can create your account right now and set up your own automation. The link is available in the description box below the video. Okay, so now I am going to scroll down and here at Connect, I am going to click on Access Now. Okay. So this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and now we are going to create a new workflow by clicking on this create workflow button over here. Okay, so now let us give a name to this workflow. So I am going to give it as WooCommerce to Autopilot. Okay, so now I'm going to create it. Okay. So now here in this workflow, we are going to integrate WooCommerce and Autopilot using Pabli Connect. So first I will integrate WooCommerce with Pabli Connect and then I will integrate Autopilot with Pabli Connect. Okay, so here in this choose app, first I am going to choose WooCommerce, this one over here. Okay, so now in choose method, you can see we have many trigger methods available. According to our workflow, whenever a new order is created in WooCommerce, we want to add contacts in Autopilot. That is why new order created is going to be our trigger method over here. So now you might have a question in your mind that what is trigger? So let me explain you that automation runs on the concept of triggers and actions. It is all about when something happens, do this. For example, when a sale happens, send an email. In our case, whenever a new order is created in WooCommerce, add contacts in Autopilot. So new order created in WooCommerce is going to be our trigger, whereas creating contacts in Autopilot will be our action. Okay, so new order created is going to be our trigger method over here. You can see we have many other trigger methods available. You can select whichever you want according to your workflow. And if you don't get the trigger method of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate pabli.com and our team will help you to look for your specific trigger. Okay, so I'll select on new order created over here. Okay, so after selecting the app and choosing the method, what we do is we copy the webhook URL that is displayed over here and we go and paste it inside the trigger software application. Here it is WooCommerce. Now this webhook URL, you might be confused that what is webhook? Let me explain you that webhook is an essential way to get data from an external software at Pabli's end. So this webhook URL helps you to build a connection between two software applications, which is WooCommerce and the Pabli Connect over here. So now, whenever there is any activity in WooCommerce, the information will come and get stored in this URL. That is why we go and copy this webhook URL inside the trigger software application. So you can see the instructions written over here. You can just follow them carefully. So I'm going to copy this webhook URL from here. And now I will go to my WooCommerce account. I have already opened my WooCommerce account over here. Here, when you click on WooCommerce, you can see we have certain options over here. So I'm going to click on settings. 
Okay, here you can see this advanced tab over here. So I'm going to click on it. And here you can see webhooks. Okay, so now we are going to add a webhook by clicking on this add webhook button over here. Okay, so now it's time to give a name to your webhook. So I'm going to give it as WooCommerce to Autopilot. Okay, so now status is going to be active. Now topic here is order created. This one over here. Okay, delivery URL here is where you're going to paste your webhook URL. Okay, so now I'm going to save the webhook. Okay, I'll just save it again. Okay, so we are done here. Now I'll go back to Pabli Connect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture the webhook response. So now it is waiting for webhook response. That means it's time to go and create a new order in WooCommerce. Okay, so I've already opened a page over here and I'm going to order a OnePlus phone over here. So I'll add to cart. Okay, so now I'll proceed to checkout. You can see the details are over here. Cart totals, everything is here. Proceed to checkout. Okay, so now here we have to enter the information of the customer. Okay, so let the name be same, Steve, Matthew, okay, company is TVS, it's fine. Address is over here, city is here, country is here, okay. Okay, so I'll just go down and here I'm going to place the order. Okay, so you can see, thank you, your order has been received. So we have successfully placed the order for Steve Matthew over here. You can see OnePlus phone payment method is cash on delivery. And you can see the address over here. Okay, so now it's time to go back to Pabli Connect and see if it has captured this information or not. So I'll go back to Pabli Connect. Okay, so you can see we have already got our webhook response over here. Let us see. You can see first name Steve, last name Matthew, company is TVS, address is here, city is here, state is here, even the email is here. Okay, so I'm going to save it. Okay, so here what we have done is we have successfully finished our first step integration of Pabli Connect and WooCommerce. And now we are going to begin our second step integration where we are going to integrate Pabli Connect and Autopilot. So I'll click on this plus button over here. And I am going to choose autopilot over here. This one. Okay. So now in choose method, our workflow says that whenever there is a new order created in WooCommerce, we want to create contacts in autopilot. Okay. So add new contact to list is going to be our action method over here. So you can see we have many other action method as well. You can select whichever you want according to your workflow need. And if you don't get the action method of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate and our team will help you to look for your specific action method. Okay. So I'm going to select add new contact to list. Okay. And now we are going to connect with autopilot. Here, create new or select existing credentials. You don't have to worry. Just come to new credentials, autopilot key, enter your API key. And here you can see to get an API key for your autopilot account, log into your autopilot account at this link, go to settings, go to autopilot API, click generate, copy the API key. Okay, so I've already logged into my autopilot account over here. You can see. Okay, so now I'll go to my settings and here autopilot api okay okay so you can see the api key over here if you want you can also generate a new api key by clicking on this regenerate button so i am just going to copy this from here and i'll go to public connect and i'm going to paste it over here okay so now this key is going to help us to build a connection between public connect and autopilot so i'll save it Okay, so now here you can see we have some empty fields over here and we are going to get the information from this webhook response that we got from here. Okay, so first is list required. So you already have some list created in autopilot. I'll show you if you go to my autopilot and I'll go to my contacts. So here you can see I have these three lists over here. WooCommerce to Autopilot, Red List and Awesome List. If you want, you can also create any new list by clicking on this plus button over here. So I want my contacts to come and get saved in this list. WooCommerce to Autopilot. For now, I don't have any contact in this list. So I'll go back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to select WooCommerce to Autopilot. 
Okay, so now it is asking me for email. I'll just map it. It is here. Okay, first name. This is Steve. Last name is Matthew. Okay, company. It's here. Title, if you want, you can just fill it or you can just leave it. I'll enter the phone number over here. Okay, rest looks fine to me. I'm not going to enter the address over here. And if you want, you can just put all these information, LinkedIn URL, Twitter, custom fields. You can also create any custom field you want. Okay, so now I'm just going to save and send test request. Okay, so we have got the API response. That means we have successfully finished our integration of WooCommerce and Autopilot. So I'll just save this. Okay, so now we are going to go back to Autopilot and see if a new contact is created in the list WooCommerce to Autopilot or not. So Autopilot, I'll just refresh this. Okay, so you can see we have our new contact over here. Steve Matthew was the name, company was TVS, email is here and created date. So we have successfully finished our integration. As soon as we created our order in WooCommerce, we have got a contact in Autopilot. So now I'll show you this process again with one more example so that you can understand how this integration takes place in real time. So what I'm going to do is I'll order a new product this time. So I'll go to this page. I've already opened this page where I'm going to buy Apple Watch Series 5. Okay, so I'm going to add to cart. Okay, so you can see the price is here, subtotal is here. I'll just proceed to checkout. Okay, so this time I'm going to change the name. So first name, let it be Ria. Last name is D'Souza. Company name, I'll just make it Hero. Okay, country is India. Address, I'll just let it be same. Okay, I'll just change the phone number. Okay, email address. Ria15 at the rate gmail.com okay so now i'm going to place the order okay so you can see thank you your order has been received so we have successfully placed a new order for ria15 at the rate gmail.com and we have bought apple watch series 5. okay you can see the address information everything is over here so now we'll go back to autopilot and see if a new contact is created there or not so i'll go to autopilot i'll just refresh this Okay, so you can see Ria D'Souza, company is Hero, email is ria15 at the rate gmail.com. So now I'll go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to show you what has happened in our example. Okay, I'll just minimize this. Okay, so in our example, what has happened? First, the information would have come from WooCommerce to Pabli Connect and then it came from Pabli Connect to Autopilot. So now whenever a new order is created in WooCommerce, a new contact will be created and then it will be added to the list that we specified. So we have successfully integrated WooCommerce and Autopilot using Pabli Connect. Not just these two software applications, but you can integrate any software application using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, you can contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com and our team will help you. For more, you can also visit our website at www.pabli.com. Thank you.